Like an unexpected rainstorm, Marcos Bagdadis emerged without warning. He first broke out at the 2006 Australian Open. And when he beat Andy Roddick, among others, to reach the final, he had electrified the sport with his spirit. Though he had a successful junior career, in part because he was discovered by a young coach, Patrick Muradoglu, Bagdadis was little known as a teenager at the time. Here was a fresh new player who went about his business with joy, flair, and an ear-to-ear -ear smile that could brighten up a room in a heartbeat. And then there was his tennis. He seldom settled for the easy shot. And why would he when there was always a chance at the spectacular? And then there was his country of origin. Baghdadis came from Cyprus, the opposite of a tennis hotbed. The circuit didn't thread through that island nation. No players of note came from there. The country had virtually no tennis history to speak of. This origin story, unusual, exotic even, only added to Baghdadis' backstory. Baghdadis played Federer tough that day in Melbourne, winning the first set and then up a break in the second. But then Federer, well, played like Federer and won what would be his seventh major singles title. If the moment had passed, Bagman, as he came to be called, figured there would be plenty more. And there were a few. Later that same year at Wimbledon, his semi-final run included wins over Leighton Hewitt, a former champion, and a young Andy Murray. When it was all said and done, he would go on to win four titles in his career and place in the top 10. There were trying moments as well, too many injuries to count, a few heartbreaking losses, including a classic against Andre Agassi in his last tournament. There were also some memorable frustrations. Through it all, Baghdadis kept his joyous spirit. He was popular among fans and popular in the locker room as well, not least among a young Greek player he inspired. The Bagman announced last month that, at age 34, he's packing it up. Wimbledon honored his request with a wild card, an acknowledgement of his past and a fitting place to end a fine career. His legacy lives on, in part through Stefanos Tsitsipas. But in the absence of Marcos Bagdadis, the sport of tennis will be a little less sunny.